Now a woman and her son remain behind bars tonight on charges of second degree murder after police say they confessed to killing the woman's elderly mother. Authorities say she was killed in an Norfolk senior living facility. Markeisha Jackson is following the investigation and shares what a local senior care advocate has to say about keeping our elderly neighbors safe. We're still working to learn exactly how she died. Tonight on your side requested to interview the two suspects, but they declined. Tonight, they remain inside the Norfolk City Jail without bond. I'm horrified. I haven't heard anything like this in the decades that I've been working in this industry. Uh, this is the first case you know, that I've heard of here locally um, like this, and hopefully it's the last. It's a family's worst nightmare, something happening to a loved one at a senior living facility. But in this case, staff members aren't under suspicion. Instead, two people closest to the victim are accused of killing her. That was even more shocking. On June 30th, Norfolk police were called to Commonwealth Senior Living to investigate an unresponsive patient, later identified as 81-year-old Cleo A. Luzidis, who was later pronounced dead. On July 9th, detectives charged two suspects with her death, Heather A. Cummings, her daughter, and Clifton L. Cummings, her grandson. The founder of Care Connect of Hampton Roads, Christina Drum Boyd, says this case deepens her passion for senior advocacy and care management. Um, the family members, you know, we don't always know that they have the best of intentions. Care Connect provides guidance and access to care for seniors, but Boyd says it's everyone's duty to keep an eye on our elderly neighbors. The staff should also be looking to see if the senior is upset or disturbed after the visit. Aside from emotional signs, it's also important to check for physical clues that a senior may be distressed. Now, Commonwealth Senior Living Facility provided a statement to our newsroom saying in part, our staff first contacted authorities following protocols when the death occurred. We have cooperated with police throughout their investigation. You can find the full statement over on wavy.com. Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.